This is the world's cheapest mini PC, and this is the most expensive. You could get 18 of these for one of these. So what do you get for 60 US dollars versus 1,100? That's what we're going to find out. I bought the Soyo M2 Air Mini PC for just 60 US dollars on AliExpress. Here's the proof. And that's with free international shipping. Oh my god. The title says you get 6 gigabytes of RAM and 64 gigabytes of storage, but the option is 128. Oh whatever, it was 60 bucks. Mistakes are bound to be made. Actually, I did get 128, so we're all good. There's an Intel N4000 dual-core CPU from 2017 inside, and even Windows 11 Pro is included. Soyo says it's ideal for home, business, and gaming. We'll test that claim. Its competitor is a similar size but taller mini PC known as the Minis Forum AI370 with the latest and greatest AMD processor, the Ryzen AI9 HX370. Yep, someone from marketing gave it that name. I know, I know. Ridiculous was the word I was thinking too. This CPU has 12 cores and 24 threads. Oh, and the Mini comes in at 1,100 US dollars, which is the highest priced Mini featuring the best mobile CPU with integrated graphics. RAM, or memory, in this one has jumped up to 32 gigabytes, or five times the amount, and we have a terabyte of storage, or eight times more than the Soyo. That makes the Soyo look like better value when you times everything by 18 if you don't take into account the difference in RAM and storage speeds. Our $60 Mini is plastic and very light, but build quality is better than expected. It doesn't even creak, and it's fanless, so you won't hear any noise from it. For the dollars, color me impressed. While the Mini's Forum AI370 has a more premium look and feel to it, although it's still plastic. A larger casing accommodates a chunkier cooling system to handle the heat. Alright then, all we need to do is fire them both up and give them a whirl. Both minis include Windows 11 Pro, which is pre-installed on the included storage drives. Right off the bat, the Soyo doesn't feel responsive even with just the Windows Start Bar, let alone the rest of Windows. I hope you're patient. Everything loads pretty slowly. But who needs a responsive Start Bar, right? Let's test performance and see how the two stack up. Cinebench is an app that gets the computer to render a realistic looking image for 10 minutes and based on its speed, it gets given a score. It's a good way to get an approximate performance measurement. The $60 Soyo gets a score of 489 in multi-core compared to over 20,000 for the $1,100 minis for him. That's over a 41 times increase. So 18 of these all networked together will still be far slower than one of these. And if we switch the test to using just one CPU core, the Mini's Forum is 515% faster than the Soyo, which is what helps get a snappy experience in Windows. And I have to say these days, I'm used to it at least being reasonably snappy. So how does the AMD chip in the Mini's Forum do it? Well, it has six times the amount of cores, 12 times the amount of threads, allowing for plenty more multitasking. It also has more instructions per clock, higher clock speeds, along with a higher power limit, which means more power draw from the wall, all working together to push the performance far above our $60 contender. But that's not the only thing that's faster. AMD's chip also has exponentially better integrated graphics performance. I wanted to show you the 3D Mark results side by side, but the Soyo can't run it due to lack of RAM. I gave up after being stuck on this screen for 30 minutes. But hang on, remember Soyo said you could game on this mini? Well, let's try it. League of Legends is a game I've been using to test performance on minis for a long time and can run on a potato. And since we have a Soyo potato, let's give it a whirl. So no joke, after waiting almost seven minutes for it to load, we're finally gaming. Well, I guess this technically passes as gaming. I call it slideshow participation. The minis forum spits out hundreds of frames in comparison. Okay then, let's try out one of my favorites back from 1999. Quake 3 Arena is above 30 FPS, so that's something. Not great, but playable. Another game that you can play on the Soyo, which comes with Windows, is Solitaire. It's been a long time since I played it. Ah, brings back memories. Somehow it can't even run at a stable 60 FPS. Oh. The Minis Forum, on the other hand, can play something like Cyberpunk 2077 on its integrated graphics with a decent frame rate.
Emulation wise, the Soyo struggles to hold full speed at 1080p with PlayStation 1 games. The Minis Forum, on the other hand, can handle a lot of the PS3 game library at 1080p, full speed, or beyond. Okay then, what else can the Soyo do? Well, it plays 720p YouTube fine. At 1080p, it starts to drop frames. The Minis Forum obviously does 4K60 without breaking a sweat. This Soyo also comes with Office apps pre-installed, and Microsoft Word doesn't need much processing power. Although Windows overall is a sluggish experience, even just opening folders, web browsing, and whatnot. It's a pretty painful computer to use, and it reminds me of the old days when we had spinning rust hard drives. The port selection between the two minis is also quite different. Although I have to say the Soyo isn't bad for its price, with a micro SD card slot, three USB 3 ports, and two ports for display using the HDMI and VGA port, which is almost as old as me. The Minis Forum, on the other hand, has more and faster USB ports, including USB 4, which allows an external graphics card to be hooked up to it. It also has faster networking through wired or wireless. Additionally, it has much newer Wi-Fi support for faster speeds, but both Minis also have Bluetooth if you have a device you want to connect to. Oh, and thanks to the USB 4 port, the Minis Forum supports up to three displays at the same time and can be powered by USB-C, which is neat. If we open both of them up, we can see both offer an extra M.2 slot for storage expansion. Each Mini features soldered memory, which is not upgradable, and the Soyo also has soldered 128GB eMMC storage where Windows is located, which is not upgradable either. For both Minis, adding more storage is about all you can do. The Soyo draws very little power from the wall, just 14 watts maximum. That's a couple of light bulbs compared to a maximum of 91 watts for the Minis Forum. That's a lot more light bulbs, like a whole house full. Although, keep in mind, if everything is slow to load, compute, or render, then the waiting time results in more power usage overall. While the Minis Forum uses a modern fast M.2 Gen 4 SSD, the Soyo uses the much slow eMMC storage to really push your patience. Even most smartphones will have faster storage. A benefit of the Soyo M2 is that it's fanless, so it makes no noise, while the Minis Forum has to deal with a lot of extra heat to remove, and the two fans produce audible noise when you start to push the processor. Okay, so there are a few takeaways from this comparison. The cheapest mini PC seems like a good deal until you actually use it and realize what you're getting for the dollars. I think it's the worst option out of the two, even if both don't represent good value. A Soyo is only useful for something basic like word processing and maybe browsing the web, but even for that, it's pretty sluggish. If you go with a mini PC around double the price, you get a much more usable computer. There are just too many compromises from the very slow Intel dual core CPU to the lack of RAM and eMMC storage. On the flip side, the top end doesn't present great value either but you're getting more bang for your buck when comparing computing performance. That being said, the high price makes it unaffordable for many, and there are other options out there. For a few hundred dollars, you can get a very capable mini PC with a modern feature set. So, 18 of these over one of these look like great value on the surface, but it's so limited, it's actually not great value at all. Thanks for watching, and if you're looking for a decent budget mini PC, check out my top five picks, right here. Cheers!